Hey guys, this is another episode for State of Decay. This time uh, it's not about bases or anything, I just gather everything I so far found and I wanted to share with you uh, 30 tips, probably some of them you already know, hopefully you will learn something new. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, yeah, this is nice. If you are wondering just how my guy is sitting there, it's, yeah, just press X on your keyboard and it brings up your remote so you can sit down. Okay, so I'll be going through all my list I created already. I have it written down, what I want to talk about, and I will go one by one and you will find all that in description below the video, so if you're bored to see my face or hear my Russian voice <laughs> then you can just read them. I will explain a little bit them but most of them you can just read and understand. So, okay, one of the biggest I found simple as that I will not show you here it's too far but you can cross the river. All the, all the water actually in the game you, it can be crossed I believe also by feet because you can find zombies sometimes in the river, but by the car, yeah, you don't need to go around. Just whenever you need to pass it, find a way where the car is not stuck and just drive through the river. Awesome tip, I know. Next one is um, give weapon to, to everyone. And by everyone, I mean absolutely everyone. Um, I'm not giving them any extra ammo, uh, they are not using it, but I have it fully loaded for each and every one. Whenever zombies are attacking the base, they are shooting. So if they don't have any firearms, then they are going in melee attacks. For example, this poor guy, it entered into my base and each and every one are just uh, of my community is just shooting them down. You see? Simple as that. <laughs> And no ammo is used there, so definitely use it. Um, third tip, um, I'm just using one one pocket for my for health, another firecrackers. I will not explain why, just whenever there is a problem, drop it down and you'll see how it turns out and your community members are alive and everything is fine. Fourth tip, um, don't be afraid to exile community members. I'm doing that myself at the beginning, you want to save everyone, trust me, not everyone is worth saving. Uh, for example, I have a lot of annoying members with minus morale and all the problems. Of course, take um, serious consideration, but for example, minus morale, um, I'm leaving her just because she's giving me extra fuel. Otherwise, I already expelled a uh, few, few members and you can always take new ones, so yeah, don't, don't keep them if they are just purely irritating or destroying uh, all the morale of your community. Yeah, we have a visitor here. Nice, thank you. Okay, mm let's go. <laughs> let's go for the next tips. Um, I'm keeping in every car extra fuel tank, uh, fuel container, just to refuel, so you never run out of gas. Um, I think everyone does that, but just a reminder: keep one, not in a pocket, because they are quite heavy and takes up the slot, but just put in, in the trunk. I will not go outside to my cars to show you that because I have a juggernaut there. Sixth tip, you already seen how it's working and not working. Mm, I'm using cars to block entrances uh, because they can jump over. I'm not. I can jump over here if there's car parked outside. I'll take just yeah. Take this guy out. Wow. 
Why are you not dying? Of course he's dying. So you saw before how this juggernaut pushed my car away. Now they can enter here, but um, yeah, the sixth tip was to block entrances in your base where you don't want ma uh, zombies to get over the fence or whatever entrance they have. Tip number seven. Uh, I'm not using any meds. Oh, I mean, tired. I'm speaking about those meds you take with you. If you are in the middle of mission, obviously you just take a little bit so your member is not dying. Otherwise, uh, you know that your uh, community members are getting tired, so you have to change them constantly. If you are changing the um, community member and leaving him or her at base, <laughs> and you have infirmary, infirmary all those injuries and health will be s restored so yeah you can get just ditch them with uh, when the health is health bar is not full don't use the meds just leave it and after time it will be healed that's it tip number eight must have silencers all the firearms i'm equipping to my members they have silencers because when the gun is loud it attracts new new zem zombies so you never you, you can never <laughs> stop them shooting because they will come all the time, all the time. So they are not that expensive, just create them, mount them on each and every weapon, and that's it. Uh, tip number nine. Always and always check if you, don't, if you have all some right. kind of See trader ya. on the map. And visit them to purchase mods. That's the best way how you can find and get mods for your base. Tip number 10. Mm -mm -mm. Always help the survivors. Yeah, that's that will go together with some other tips later on. But uh, I've seen some YouTubers saying, I ah, don't bother going and helping. No, do that. Because there are two ways to possible options what will happen if you uh, help some of the survivors one they will give you just supplies just one drop one ammo or food that's not that great but the second option is they will lead to some enclaves they will ask you to basically drive them back and you will have uh, unlocked uh, enclaves and enclaves are awesome mm. Tip number 12 is about enclaves. Uh, once you have them, oh yeah, they are gone. <laughs> nice. Mm. About enclaves, it's quite simple. They have side stories. For example, I have here a um, vehicle repair shop uh, and I have them allied already. So the tip number 12 was um, don't leave them ne neutral. For example, I have unaware and there's some natural, neutral, natural, yeah, uh, enclaves. I am suggesting to at least trade them or help a uh, few times so they are at least friendly. Because if they are neutral, like here, if you're not helping them, they might just leave, take off, and you will never see them again. If they are friendly, it takes, I think, more time before they leave. If they are, if if not, they are, I think, staying. I never had any friendly enclave leaving. So that's about it. And of course, when you have them allied and allied, uh, allied, stupid English, yeah, <laughs> uh, you you can buy from them a lot cheaper everything. Tip number thirteen is um, you sometimes can find a car that is uh, I call it Google car. It's lookout car with um, cameras on top of it. Looks something like this, just without any upgrades. Um, if you have such car, when you drive it, my two favorite things. Just shut up. When you drive it around, it will open up all, all the nearby buildings and uh, reveal the map. That's awesome, awesome car to use. But if you upgrade it, this upgrade will destroy this, um, 
this this um, thing on top of it and it will become a casual car so you will not have this extra area where it's um, uh, where it's unlocking the map for you tip number 14 um, yeah swapping mods mods for your uh, base facilities for example in workshop there are few awesome mods that I will have next video about all the mods but just don't be afraid to uninstall them you will s still have them for example I have uh, have this mod to have extra f um, extra resources but if I need ammo for example if I, or I want to salvage some weapon remains just uninstall it it takes few seconds and install a mod you need so basically entire game you can swap in and out mods for your that current situation needs don't be afraid to do that uh, tip number 15, uh, simple as that, blunt weapons are better than uh, sharp weapons. Reason is simple, sharp weapons, with sharp weapons you can kill zombies faster, but if you run into a horde of zombies, which is usually the most problematic thing, uh, blunt weapons knock them down easily. And all, all what you need is all the time is you just try to hit each and every zombie until they are down. When they are down, uh, they are not at attacking you so you can survive. With sharp weapons, they are not knocked down. Uh, they are just... You, you hit them and they hit you back and you get hurt. That's why I don't like sharp weapons. Tip number 17. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, I left one behind, sorry. Seven, uh, 16 is, uh, you already saw, I picked up all the blood samples. Just pay attention for the zombies that are on the ground, there are uh, blood samples. Why? Uh, because even it, no matter how much you have them, trust me, you will always want to have more. Because you will use, I'm suggesting to use uh, blood, blood plague samples to create... Uh, Not happening. To create this awesome thing which is called bulk cure which can be sold for 50 500 influence points best income in the game you've probably seen it also suggesting uh, other youtubers as well so and it uses as you can see 20 blood blood uh, plague sandals so you need quite a lot of them tip next tip 17 yeah reduce uh, reload time you'll find often um, weapons that has only 10 bullets in the chamber in the magazine actually I'm not a big fan of them or even um, revolvers with less of them yeah 8, eight bullets yeah no I'm just that's my preference but you can find uh, even a pistols with uh, 20 uh, rounds and 20 bullets and I'm suggesting you use, use those why because you don't need to extra to carry extra bullets with you you have enough bullets in in the weapon already so you just use it and shoot zombies when it's needed the hell yeah, it why are you not shooting it Jesus Christ I have to do it on my own okay um, Tip number 18, yeah, I guess, I guess so. Uh, play with your recruits, that's simple enough. Every, every community member at the beginning they are recruits and you don't know what kind of hero uh, passive ability you have. Uh, whenever you have a new recruit, play with it uh, because it's quite easy to get them in... Um, let me check yeah in citizen um, status as you can see I have one this, this is the latest guy and now I know that if I level him up I will get extra food and just uh, another juggernaut seriously let me just pause for a moment then the game um, easiest way how to get it to help out on a mission uh, because it gives a lot of influence and if you are playing with this recruit you will get this um, 
standing up quite easily. And the next possible easiest way is just to drive zombies. Take a car and smash them over, because every third zombie killed uh, will increase the standing, and the standing will increase until the citizen, so you know what's the extra bonus you, you will have with him. Uh, okay, let's, let's, I have quite some, already a long video, okay. Okay, next is quite important. Um, level up, oh yeah. Tip number 19 is uh, level up your fifth skill. And fifth skill, of course, just mentioned to level up every skill to the max because it gives you extra um, extra ability. But why I'm suggesting, uh, why I'm mentioning the last fifth skill is quite simple. Whenever you unlock it, you will see that I, I can now repair the weapons cheaper. I have extra food, so it gives quite advantage, and it's not that hard to unlock. When you upgrade it once, just use this ability, you will find um, in your facility that you are creating, um, uh, for example, the same silencers, or you boost your farm, uh, this agriculture skill will be boosted, and it's quite easily. A few times do this, and you will have all the upgrades in no time. Should have okay. Never mind. Uh, next tip number twenty is let me get my stupid guy is to check before you are spending and in uh, investing time in um, this particular guy, for example, check check if he has all all the seven stars. As you can see, he has heart uh, heart problems and the cardio will never be able to reach the next tier not even mentioning to update the maximum so he always will be a little bit disappointing guy so just pay attention uh, i will not explain how how easily stamina runs out for him so yeah tip number 21 uh, boost your morale morale is quite easy to understand but reason why to boost it as you can see those lines are actually thresholds. Uh, whenever you reach, at the moment I don't have it. Yeah, it's not good. I can sh can't show you. But once you reach your threshold, uh, you will have extra boost for improving skills, for gaining influence. I I I think was it, and something else. So basically, it's it's really advisable at. Uh, at to reach at least one or two thresholds. I never had this the last one, I guess then you have super extra boost to gain experience, but yeah, suggesting that. Tip number 22. Um, uh, save your home if you're low on ammo. <laughs> the tip is quite simple. Sometimes you see uh, here the radio chat that zombies are coming to your home and you're doing something else or driving to some mission. If you're not reaching your home base in time, the, the community members in the base will shoot them out and clear the zombies, but it will cost you three ammo, I think, every time. But if you manage to get back in home, home base, it's always the appearing new... new um, goal to get back to uh, home base and defend it. If you do that, then of course there's zombie zombies coming in. You shoot them out, and it costs you zero ammo. By ammo, I mean those supply ammo. So, tip number twenty-three is take shortcuts. It's quite simply simple. Goes together with the possibility to trick to go over the river when you need to go from point A to point B it's not actually worth going by the road on the road cars are faster but the maps are made quite easily that of course there are some mon uh, mountains and, and some fences that you can destroy but there's always uh, always a way how to bypass by the bushes or, or 
through the farm fields and it's quite quite straightforward you can always drive from one point to another point just about the straight line and it saves a little bit fuel if you're not going extra around for example so yeah don't do that tip number 24 yeah is to check if you are not losing any supplies. It's quite easy to do. As you can see, I have already meds 26, and if you are checking, I have 2.5 coming in every day, so it will cross 27. And if you click on your storage, you can see I can only store 25 plus 2, 27. So I will have 28. And if I'm far away from the home, in, uh, from the base, uh, the one med will be lost. Just to check if you're not crossing this this um, amount that you can actually store. Simple as that. Mm. Tip number 25 is if you have a problem, which I have also in my case, that I'm having more supplies than I can actually store. See y'all later. What you do is just throw it out, take your meds, and store them in the cars that you are not using. Just use them as a locker, so just save extra supplies. I think this juggernaut is ruining my recording. Thank you. Big juggernaut. <laughs> Tip number 26 is do not rush your game. Uh, that's quite <laughs> that's quite simple. If you are if you are running uh, Sharif Legacy or Builder Legacy, actually, uh, if you are just purely checking um, and doing everything that is needed, I, th I believe you can do it quite easily and quite fast. It's not fun, it's not fun. Um, by going to enclaves, helping them out, having their side quest quests, uh, assisting them in their journey, and then having some awesome... Spoiling for me. And then having some awesome... Uh, vehicle drop that then you actually have that's the way how to do it that's how you can enjoy the game that's how you fully explore and see what's, what's up in here not just by running your main story you can do it of course but that's not fun <laughs> tip number 27 I think always take uh, another uh, company on with you reason to do that is of course you're safer with someone else and they are hey buddy they are also um, improving their skills and they you can get advantage of their backpacks uh, when you can switch over and just keep keep bashing zombies uh, with, with some other guy oh we have juggernauts make me want to stay home and hide under the covers. Oh, nice, nice. You see, second juggernaut killed in my recording. Great. You see, that's what I meant when I said you need to ex exile those people who are making trouble and decrease the morale. <laughs> so, tip number twenty-eight is get supplies from base. You already see, uh, saw this in action. It's also working when you are outside from the base. You run to this uh, some mission. Some people, some enclaves are asking for meds or food. What you can do is quite simply open your base, check your storage, check what what kind of supplies they are they need. Usually it's food, and once you click, it magically appears on your back and that's how you can teleport from the base uh, any supply you need and just drop off 
to the point uh, to enclave or whatever, wherever you need those supplies. I hope that keeps us going for a Neat while. trick that actually I checked and learned also from you. Tip number 29 is store heavy objects in trunk. When you do the missions, you obviously loot everything and, ev uh, and, and get uh, back all the supplies to the base. Just pay attention, um, usually the mods for your facilities, they are really, really heavy. Mm -hmm. And just a suggestion to not run out of stamina when you are playing with uh, particular um, uh, community member is to drop those uh, most heavy objects objects in the trunk of your car. That's also why this um, extra fuel tank... Yeah, I have none of them. Nice. <laughs> Sorry guys. I can... Yeah, I have at least sorted my food. So they are quite heavy, you just drop them off in the car and take the lightest stuff with you in your Damn, backpack. Too loud. And the last tip I got is go for durable weapons. That is uh, also the similar suggestion as with blunt weapons. Is just show you when I when I need to choose what kind of weapon I'm using. I'm always going, as you can see, I'm always equipping the most durable because well. You don't need to repair it so often, it's easier to play when you don't have to worry about when it will be breaking down. And there you will find uh, there are some really durable weapons to use. The sharp weapons are always very, very fragile and they lose a lot. Of course they are better with lethality, but I already explained. And that's about it, yeah, those are the tips I can share with you, what I've found so far, which really helps to enjoy the game, to play the game, to check out the story, the side quests, uh, explore the map. Trust me, it took me some while to get courage to just take my best car and run into the river, but well, it paid off, you can actually cross the river. <laughs> I was really happy to find it out. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm quite new here in YouTube, uh, I'm, I don't tend to <laughs> leave gaming soon because I'm all-time gamer and yeah, if you enjoy the video and if you want to learn more, um, yeah, make sure you are subscribed and I'll keep you coming with new awesome videos and yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys.